many people to thank today. We all know earning an Anderson MBA requires hard work, dedication, discipline, and it doesn't happen alone. It requires the support of those closest to you, your family, your friends, your classmates, your barista. They encourage you, they sacrifice, they show you their love by being there for you while letting you have your space when you need it. So, graduates, join me in thanking all of the beloved friends and family sharing this special day with you for all they've done and sometimes done without. We are so grateful to you. Thank you. While many supporters are here present with us today, we're a global institution with relationships across the country and around the world. We webcast commencement so friends and family everywhere can be part of the experience. We're also live tweeting this commencement so all of our followers can catch the highlights. So you should all feel free to tweet as we go and don't forget your photos. Our commencement hashtag is hashtag UCLA 2015. Again, hashtag UCLA 2015. Go to town with all your photos. But that's the only reason you should be looking at your smartphones or smartwatches today, to tweet out. It's wonderful to welcome back such a great cross-section of the Anderson family. And I'd like to thank the dedicated alumni who are here today, who've come to welcome our graduates into Anderson's powerful alumni network of 35,000 around the globe. Let's also recognize our fabulous faculty who serve as teachers, mentors, consultants, and often friends to our students. And of course, each is a superb knowledge leader in her or his field. So faculty, please stand to be recognized and remain standing. And our fabulous administrative, just a moment, our fabulous administrative staff, they too share in the pride of your accomplishments today. So please stand as well, our administrative staff. And now let's recognize all of these important players in our graduates' development, faculty and staff. Allow me to segue to first thank two of my dean colleagues who are ending their terms in very key roles, Senior Associate Dean and Deputy Dean for Academic Affairs, Randy Buckland, who served in this key role for three years, and Senior Associate Dean Mark Garmez, who was the faculty director of the MBA program. Randy and Mark, please stand to be recognized. Thank you. Both are returning to their faculty areas to teach and continue their important areas of research. And our appreciation to two key members of our staff, Susan Judkins and Michael Heafy, they're hovering here somewhere, <laughs> whose, commencement, whose commencement is of a different kind today. Both Susan and Michael joined Anderson in 1978. And since 2008, Susan has been our Assistant Dean and Director of MBA Student Affairs, and Michael is our Director of Operations. I'm, I'm still looking for them here. Susan and Michael have dedicated themselves to the school and to you. And at the end of this month, both commence their well-earned retirements. So, Please join me in thanking all of these important leaders for their tremendous contributions to the school and to you. So graduates, you're also commencing a new phase of your lives. For the past two or three years, even a few more for our PhD students, Anderson has been your home. It will always be your home. You've all shared in what we believe is a special opportunity to learn, to grow, to experience so much while at Anderson, an opportunity made even more exceptional because of all that UCLA 
and UCLA Anderson stand for. But it's also very much because of what you contributed with your intelligence, with your passions, and with the caring that you extended to your classmates and throughout communities, demonstrating your values of sharing success, thinking fearlessly, and driving change. Sharing success is what sets us apart. Now, I hope no one confuses sharing success with steering clear of competition. For sure, we play to win. We like to win, but when we compete, we do so without the elbow-throwing egotism that describes some people or teams, or teams who must win at any cost. The spirit of sharing success has fostered innumerable initiatives that our graduated classes are leaving behind. And I can't mention all of them. Here are just a few examples. The new position in the Anderson Student Association of Vice President of Diversity and Inclusion or fireside chats in which we share very personal growth experiences and a culture of inclusiveness, or signing the ally pledge in so solidarity with the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and queer members of our community as part of our first LGBTQ Awareness Week. It's why you took on AMR or GAP projects that helped breast cancer patients in Ethiopia or reduced maternal mortality in Kenya. It's why the annual Challenge for Charity Casino Night raised a record $20,000 this year to support worthy organizations such as the Special Olympics, Junior Achievement, or Project ECHO. It's manifested in how students roll up their sleeves to put together conferences on issues that matter to them, from healthcare to energy, to investment management, to entrepreneurship, digital media, from China to Africa to Latin America. You accomplished a lot. You collectively supported your Anderson family members through good times and bad, job offers and startups, team highs and team lows. You shared success. You drove change. You are leaving your imprint here. You have had impact. It's about impact, but it's also about optimism. Others might find the future a little bit intimidating, intimidating, perhaps even overwhelming. You don't. I've observed that you don't just face the future, you run to the future with eagerness, with hunger to make a difference in business and in life. But you can't do it alone. You'll do it with others, perhaps your Anderson classmates, and you have an obligation to give back because of the very substantial gifts you were given. And let's remember to be humble. You have enormous gifts, yes, but you were also tremendously lucky. We are all lucky. Why us at UCLA Anderson and not others as equally talented but who weren't fortunate enough to be parachuted into the life that we've been given. Now, here at UCLA, in this most innovative region of the next, with the love that surrounds and embraces you on this beautiful day of celebration. Let's not forget that luck or ever take it for granted. Let's remember to be eternally grateful for it and to share. We heard about this obligation to share in our leadership class this spring from Jeff Katzenberg, CEO of DreamWorks, who said, you haven't learned to live until you've learned to give. And we heard from Mrs. Marian Anderson in announcing her transformative $100 million gift to the school that the ultimate measure of our lives is how well we create opportunities for others. As her husband, John Anderson, would say, Creating opportunity for others is simply doing the right thing. These are the qualities that make good leaders that, in fact, become great leaders. And we'll hear from one of those great leaders in just a moment, Brian Cornell. These are the values you learned, you lived, while at UCLA Anderson. 
And these are the values shared widely across the entire UCLA Anderson community. Well, I'm very lucky because as Dean, I get to meet our Anderson alumni family everywhere around the planet. We now have 22 Anderson chapters outside the US. You now have family all over the world, almost wherever you land. I always ask the alumni I meet anywhere to take the Alumni for Life Four Point Challenge. And now, as you become Alumni for Life, I'd like you to take that same Four Point Challenge. Number one, have a one-to-one -one relationship with the school. Every alumnus and alumnae should hire at least one Anderson graduate, refer at least one talented person to an Anderson program, mentor at least one current student, contract at least one AMR or GAP, at least one of these options. Two, practice 24-hour turnaround in response to communication from fellow Anderson alumni, students, or prospects. That responsiveness means that being a fellow Anderson alumnus or alumni matters. It demonstrates the power of the network. Number three, be engaged, be active, get involved, show up, fly the flag, be an ambassador, be an evangelist for UCLA Anderson. And number four, give back to the school with your time and your dollars, as many of you have already done, and thank you. That's what we ask of all of our alumni, and that's what we now ask of you. You are an alumnus or alumni forever. Forever is a very long time. My heartfelt congratulations to each of you and to your loved ones who I'm sure are overwhelmed with feelings of pride and probably relief that it's over. I am so proud of you. I have loved getting to know you. I'm certain that you will help make this awesome family of Anderson alumni even more awesome.